Hello everybody, welcome back, happy Monday. So on Mondays on my channel, we do non-dessert recipes and today I'm gonna to show you how to make the perfect bagels. So I love making homemade bagels and they're actually not as intimidating as they may seem and they taste so much better than store-bought, oh my gosh. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, so first what you wanna do is pour a quarter cup of warm water into the bowl of an electric mixer and sprinkle some yeast on top. Let it sit for five minutes for the yeast to develop. Add two more cups of water, some sugar, vegetable shortening, and salt, and mix on low speed with the dough hook attachment. Gradually add five and a half cups of bread flour, mixing about two to three minutes or until all ingredients are combined. Increase the speed to medium and mix for six minutes, adding the remaining flour one tablespoon at a time. Brush the inside of a large bowl with some melted butter, then shape the dough into a ball and place it inside the bowl. Brush the top of the bread with some more butter and cover with a sheet of, butter, of buttered plastic wrap. Place a towel on top and allow the dough to rise at room temperature for one hour. Then deflate the dough, return it to the bowl, cover it, and chill in the fridge for four hours or overnight. Transfer the dough to a floured surface and, the, and deflate the dough and divide it into 10 pieces. Need each, need each piece, I can't speak today, several times to activate the gluten in the bread and form it into a tight ball. Then with your finger, just poke a hole right into the center and then stretch it until it looks like a large ring of dough. And these are going to look way bigger than you want your bagels to be, but that's okay. Stretch the bagels to a baking sheet lined with a floured dish towel and cover them with an additional dish towel. Bring a large pot of water to boil and add some sugar and baking soda. Place the bagels into the boiling water and boil for one and a half to two minutes and then flip over and boil for an additional one and a half to two minutes on the other side. Transfer the boiled bagels to a baking sheet lined with an unfloured dish towel and then transfer them to a baking sheet that has been greased with some cooking spray and sprinkled with some sesame seeds. And if you don't like sesame seeds on the base of your bagels, you can use anything that you like. You can use cornmeal or you can use um, poppy seeds or anything that you like. Beat some egg whites and water in a small bowl and then brush the bagels with this glaze and if you like this is when you add your bagel toppings so I added some sesame seeds because sesame bagels are my favorite but again you can use poppy seeds you can use anything that you like and you also want to prep a small glass and place a couple of ice cubes like four ice cubes in the glass and a quarter cup of water and so what you're gonna do is set your oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit pop the bagels in and before you close the door toss the ice cubes and the cold water into the base of the oven and bake for 25 minutes. And so this is going to create steam, which is going to help steam the bagels and give them that delicious bagel consistency. Then after they bake for 25 minutes, turn off the oven, keep the bagels in the oven for an additional five minutes. Then open the oven door, leave the bagels in the oven for another five minutes, and you are done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this recipe. Um, if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you're notified when my next video goes live, which is tomorrow because I upload every single day from Monday to Friday. Also, if you haven't yet, please check out my chocolate shop on Etsy. Um, we have some new Nutella and caramel flavors in stock right now and they are so good. Oh my gosh, if you love those chocolates and you want to try them out, um, definitely, head, definitely click the link here. It will be on the screen here. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! This is like the noisiest thing. My timer's going off. Oh my god. Oh, noisiest video ever. But anyway, the bagels taste good.